Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 21st. We're just gonna jump right in here, Aquarius, and we are gonna see what is going on for you. Uh, in your just past position here, this first row is gonna be your past. You have this butterfly spirit. It says transformation is beautiful. Uh, clearly, you are going through some sort of change in your life. You even have the Seven of Swords and you know, the Seven of Swords is a card that some people say is lying, cheating, stealing. Uh, it can definitely represent lying, cheating, stealing, of course, but um, it means a lot more than that. It is a golden card, and golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what, and it can represent doing things differently in your life, basically. You can see here that he is stealing those swords from an army that's in the background over here. So instead of going to war, he is doing things differently than going to war. He's stealing those swords so they can't be used against him in battle. And I kind of get that here, where it's like, I think you want to make a change in your life right now, Aquarius. You can see this butterfly. It has like a crown right here. And, um, you know, it's very interesting because it's popping into my head that there's a big change that you want to make, or there's something that you see is very special in your life. And it's gonna require some sort of transformation. I think this right here is the the kind of like the tricky bit, right? Is the seven of swords because intuitively, I'm wondering if you want to make a change, but maybe you don't wanna hurt people in your life, like your family or lovers or whatever. It's like, there's something that you're trying to do, right? And I feel like you're trying to think about like the best way to do it. And really, for some of you, if I'm being honest, I, I mean, I think there is no good answer <laughs> other than to rip the Band-Aid off. Sometimes I think we just have to rip the Band-Aid off. We just have to make a decision that could hurt people in our life or, you know, maybe they don't, you know, maybe you want to move, for example, but because you have the chariot here and maybe you've never left your family or something like that and you don't want to hurt them. And it's like, yeah, it's true. You don't want to hurt them. But at the same time, it's like you have to live your life. And I feel like I say this to you a lot, but it's like you're finally undergoing the transformation. I feel like you've been in kind of like caterpillar soup for a long time, and now you're becoming the butterfly. I feel like you're getting ready to kind of like pump up your wings so that you can fly here, Aquarius. You have the nine of cups. What do you want? <laughs> nine of cups is about sitting and soaking in an energy. It is, of course, a card that says make a wish. So definitely make a wish here, Aquarius. But, you know, as I always say, he is sitting here and he's about to have a feast. The card itself says that he kind of looks kind of chubby because he has had a feast before. So it represents needing to experience an energy before you can have an energy. And people are always like, how do you do that? Well, um, you know, if you want love, you have to be in love. So you have to love a dog, go love a cat, go love nature, right? You have to be in the energy before you can have something. And I feel that some of you have learned that lesson. You have the justice card here. I am getting something about like a karmic change or some sort of, mm, it's almost like, I don't really like saying things like this because mm, I think we have much more free will than we realize, but it's almost as if something is destined to be part of your life here, Aquarius. You know, it's like part of karma right? And I feel that for some of you, things are being balanced out. It's like things are being made right are the words that are popping into my head. So if you were dealing with a lying, cheating, stealing situation, I feel like there's balance coming in for you. And like re the relationship scales in your life are being rebalanced. Um, if you're wanting to make a change in your life, I feel like this, the scales are being balanced so that you can make the change without having to rip the band-aid off, so to speak, right? So um, pretty, I get like pretty intense feelings in this first row because like I said, there's something you wanna do, but it's seven of swords. With the seven of swords, you have the three of wands. What are you waiting for? <laughs> three of wands is my card. What are you waiting for, Aquarius? It is time for you to take the leap of faith. It is time for you to go. You know, there's a million ways to read the three of wands, but one of my favorites is that he's looking out on the water. But if you look at it, it's golden color. It almost looks like the desert. So he's looking out and he might be thinking that he is seeing just a desert where there is no opportunity. But when he looks closer, he sees the boats. And those boats, obviously, he could get on one of those boats and it could bring him to a lot of opportunity, right? And so I feel for some of you, 
maybe life has been like a desert or maybe you feel like there's no opportunity. But actually, if you look closer, there are a lot of opportunities, probably in a change that you want to make, obviously, some sort of transformation that you're hoping to make. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Ace of Cups, uh, emotions overflowing, being very happy. It's like, what makes you happy? <laughs> what are the things that cause you to overflow? Not everybody else, but what makes you overflow? And I feel you need to answer that question, Aquarius, because again, this has nothing to do with anyone else. It has everything to do with you. And you know, I think that's what the focus is here with the Ace of Cups, is that you need to focus on yourself with this energy. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Eight of Swords. Mm, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I don't want to sugarcoat this, you know, the Justice card, but I do kind of get like tower vibes almost. Like sometimes I'm, I'm trying to think of like what the message I'm trying, I'm getting is, but it's almost as if, you know, sometimes I think if we don't do something that we're meant to do, and again, I want to stress that I think we create our own reality. So I don't think we're necessarily meant to do anything. But sometimes I think if we put out the vibration that we want to do it, it can almost kind of cause a tower moment if we don't get moving, if that makes sense. Like, like, let's say you're settling for less financially, right? And you have a job that sucks. It's like some, maybe you start putting out vibration that you want more money. It's like maybe the universe makes you get fired, for example. I'm just giving you an example here. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but it's almost as if, you know, I feel with this justice card that there's like some sort of karmic push where you're being kind of <laughs> moved forward here, Aquarius. For some of you, I feel like this has already happened. So I'm already telling you something that you probably know. And I feel like you're being moved closer to something much better. You have this full moon in Cancer in your present position. It says, let your fears dissolve, Aquarius. So I feel like you have to let go of your fears, obviously. And I feel that your fears have probably been the thing that are holding, have held you back the most. Uh, the Seven of Swords to me can represent internal fears that don't exist. So I feel for a lot of you, you need to follow your heart. You even have these two queens here. I'm gonna show you. You have the Queen of Cups. She's really focusing on that cup there. You have the Queen of Pentacles. She's very focused on the pentacle. So she's focused on her heart here, her resources over here. And I feel like you need to focus on what your heart wants. You have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Again, she is very focused on this cup. The cup could represent her heart or like what her heart is telling her to do in life. And I do feel that you should focus on that. Uh, it's also a card of like focusing on your own fulfillment. So I feel there's a lot of things that bring you fulfillment, but I feel there needs to be like a little bit more focus on those things. I get a very emotional energy here. So it might be a good time to kind of like tap into your emotions as well. You have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is a card of discovery in some ways. And you also have the Page of Wands. But, you know, Page of Wands is a card of exploration. I feel like what needs to be explored is that Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Again, what provides you with fulfillment? And if you can't answer that question, <laughs> then I feel like you need to explore it, right? So the Page of Swords is kind of like being a detective. It is like looking into things and really examining things and learning about things and um, you know, kind of uh, having experiences. And so for some of you, I feel that you need to have more experiences in your life. And you do have the Seven of Pentacles, which, you know, again, is my card of, is the juice worth the squeeze? He's looking at those Seven Pentacles and he's saying, is it worth it? <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So he's really examining what he's working on. Some of you, I feel, are, are saying like, I would love to have experiences, but I don't have X, Y, and Z. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't have whatever. And what I would say is, you know, if you, let, like, let's say that you want to find a place to live that could provide fulfillment, then I would start doing research online. Again, there, you don't necessarily have to go there. You just have to get the energy moving in that direction. That's what the justice card is all about. It's about just putting enough energy on the right side of the scale that gets you closer to what you want. Same thing in love. Maybe you're sick and tired of love, right? Maybe you're done with all the lying, cheating, stealing. <laughs> and this says, okay, well, you need, you need to imagine, like if you want love, you need to build that person in your head that you do want, that doesn't do those things, that doesn't have the negative traits. And if you can do that, I feel like you're gonna get everything you want. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords again, lying, cheating, stealing. But, um, you know, again, I feel that this is really talking about doing things differently in your life. I feel also, you know, sometimes I feel that the Seven of Swords says you don't have to do things alone. You can see that he can't carry all the swords. He can only carry five. So 
For some of you, you might need to ask people for help or assistance. With the Page of Swords, you have the King of Wands here. Mm, for some reason, I thought you had the Queen of Wands as well, but uh, King of Wands is about being bold, being courageous. And again, I feel, you know, I've been saying it all year because the Queen of Wands has been coming up like crazy in the readings that we really need to be bold and courageous. We really need to, and, you know, this is true for everyone, but we really need to be like a little bit more aggressive in going towards our goals, I believe, because, um, you know, I don't know, that's how we're going to get what we want, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups, uh, celebration, happiness, good things coming in for you. Uh, so I definitely feel there's like a celebration coming in. I, I, more fulfillment as well. These people are like happy to be together. I'm wondering if some of you are in situations where you're not happy to be where you like with the people that are around you. Maybe you're not, maybe they're not bad people, but I feel you could be looking to surround yourself with the people who are maybe cause you to grow or who lead to more love or fulfillment, whatever the case may be. Some of you could be making a change like in the people that you surround yourself with. Uh, in your future position, you have this here and now card. So I would just be present at this time. Of course, you can see that she's sitting in the present in this situation. Uh, I also feel like you know, <laughs> that some of you are, this will like help calm your mind down. I want to see what this next card is as well. You have this loyal heart card. I definitely get something about love and loyalty showing up here. Um, you know, seven of swords twice, obviously. Um, you know, I feel that some of you are kind of looking for someone who you can be, you know, who can be loyal to you and you can be loyal to that, right? I'm not calling you a cheater, but I'm just saying. Uh, and, you know, the other thing is, I also feel that you're looking for fulfillment, like which we, we've already talked about with the nine of cups and the ace of cups. The loyal heart can say, can say like, what can you do for the rest of your life, like in work and business or um, even just like personal projects? You have the queen of pentacles, chariot and the um, page of wands. Definitely, this is a journey that you are on. I feel that if you're, again, worried that, about having the resources to do this, you know, if you are going on a journey, I do feel that the re resources will be showing up for you. This could be money, time, effort, could be anything. But, you know, I feel for a lot of you that this could be just, again, the resources that you need to get moving forward. So definitely good for money. I also feel this could be a Capricorn coming in for some of you. Uh, you know, it is showing up as a queen, but it doesn't matter. You know, I don't attach gender to my card. So if you're looking for love, could be a Capricorn or a fire sign. Could also be a fire sign with Cap a bunch of Capricorn or a Capricorn with a bunch of fire in their chart. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person is very abundant, very successful and loyal. Uh, you have the chariot. Definitely a big change. Again, he's leaving behind this city that is behind him. So he's going uh, who knows where he's going? <laughs> the story of the chariot is that he is allowing the universe to guide him. There are no reins attaching these sphinxes to his cart. So, you know, it kind of represents the fact that the universe is in charge. And, you know, we got that here with that justice card. I get a very, I don't get like typical, you know, justice meanings on that justice card. It's just like popping into my head as karma and you know, also like the universe is kind of pushing you here. <laughs> and I also feel that you could be stacking your energy on the right side of the scale or the wrong side of the scale. So again, if things are not going the right direction in your life, I would just move the energy to the other side. Um, but he's trusting that the universe is guiding him in the right direction. So there is an element of trust here. And you have the page of wands. It's like you've had a major realization. This is pretty powerful, this page of wands. I didn't get that till I picked it up that like, I feel like some of you, have had a major like change recently. And that could be part of this transformation is beautiful card, that butterfly spirit in the first part. Um, you know, I feel like you've had a major realization recently that, you know, what's life without a little risk, you know, is what's popping into my head. And I kind of feel that some of you are realizing that you don't want things to be the same. <laughs> and, you know, I kind of like, if I put myself in your shoes, I feel like this is your energy, the page of wands. I feel things have been the same for too long and you're looking for a change or you're looking for something better. I also feel like some of you maybe feel like you missed out on an opportunity. And that could be the thing that is kind of, you know, pushing you forward here is that if you like you missed out on a good opportunity, you could be saying to yourself, I'm not gonna let that happen again, right? Could be any type of opportunity, it doesn't matter. And I feel you're it's like the thing that's motivating you. Uh, with, look at this with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I, I'm telling you a super powerful change coming in for you. Again, I don't want to make it sound too clickbaity or anything, but I mean, Wheel of Fortune is a significant change. It is 
uh, your personal vision for your life. The Wheel of Fortune represents your destiny as well, but it's your destiny, again, in the sense that it's your personal vision for your life, where you see your life going. You have three options with the Wheel of Fortune on where you are on the wheel. You can be on the outside, you can be on this, uh, I'll show you over here, you can be on the more inner ring, or you can be all the way at the center. We want to be at the center of the wheel. That's where we can control the things that are happening to us. We can use our vibrations. The snake represents your vibrations. So we can use our vibrations to control our reality when we're um, at the center, but we also see things as they're spinning around us so we can control things better. And I kind of feel like some of you are moving to the center of the wheel. With the chariot, you have the eight of wands. Damn, <laughs> something happening very, very quickly in your life with the chariot. You know, chariot is already a card of speed and things happening quickly. Uh, the eight of wands is a quick conclusion or quick success or rushing communication. I get all that, like a flurry of activity. I'm pretty sure, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I titled your reading recently like a flurry of activity or something like that. Um, but I think things are kind of coming and going really quickly. I also feel that when you're kind of, you know, on the right path, so to speak, I think you're going to notice that things are moving much faster or I think you're going to notice that you're getting faster results as well. It's almost like when you're plugged into the right things, the right people, places and things, that things just have a much better flow. I think when you're plugged into the wrong things, things just seem to go the opposite direction. So I would be paying attention to that. I would also, you have that be here, be now card, but I would also pay attention to, like if you can look at the past and say, okay, when I dealt with this person in my life, my life slowed down. But when I deal with these other people, my life speeds up or it could be places or things, like I said. So it might be a good time to kind of like look at history and say like, what made my life faster? What made it slower? And it's not about really going faster. It's about just being plugged in. With the page of wands, you have the five of wands. Again, there are people, uh, there are going to be people who do not do not agree with you. Um, I feel this is what you've been battling for a very long time is other people's opinions. It comes up in every single one of your readings, Aquarius. I feel it. Every single reading that I do for you. <laughs> it's like, what are other people gonna think? So um, I don't know. They're probably not gonna like the changes that you're making. But again, whenever we make changes that are this big, which it looks like you're doing, there are gonna be people who don't wanna see you grow, right? Just how life is. Uh, we're gonna pull five main themes for you for this week. And uh, you have this harp card. It says great happiness on it. I feel like there is a lot of happiness, but this happiness I feel is coming from a risk. Again, I it, to me, it's on that page of wands. That page of wands, it's almost like if I put myself in your shoes again with that page of wands, that I feel kind of like I missed out on something or I feel that I didn't move fast enough on something. And again, um, you know, I think we need to you know, put pressures on ourselves in balance. I don't think we should be beating ourselves up or anything like that. So be kind to yourself here. But I kind of feel like, okay, I, I see where I messed up and I don't want to do that again. And so it's almost as if you're kind of, you know, taking a risk to go on an adventure here. Could be like literally traveling or moving, but it could also be maybe you missed out on a business opportunity and now you're kind of redoing it. And maybe you're, there could be other situations as well. I'm getting a lot here, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, I feel there have been other situations that made you kind of feel small and it could be involving people. Again, I feel like the circles on the, that wheel of fortune, it's almost like people try to keep you in a small circle, but you wanna be in a big circle. And you know, I feel like you could be taking risks to make that happen in a good way. We're not, we're talking about calculated risk. Uh, you have this Eagle card, it says triumph over um, troubles and obstacles. So you will overcome any obstacles that you have been dealing with, I feel. And I also feel that the eagle, you know, the, the mythology of the eagle is that it can see very far into the distance, but it can't see, you know, it can't see everything that is coming around the next, you know, around the bend, right? It can't see around the bend of the, or the curve of the earth. So it can only see so far into the future. I feel like some of you are kind of like done assuming things like maybe in the past you were in relationships and you just kind of assumed where it would go and it didn't go in that direction or maybe you ended it because because of the unknown. And um, but I feel this in all areas of your life. I feel like you're much more in this explorer type energy where you're willing to see what's around the corner. And again, that's gonna lead to success. You have this tree, it says affairs with your family. Like I said, I feel there could be some people in your family, uh, good and bad, you know, I feel, and maybe not even bad, but just maybe there could be people who are in prote protection mode, right? Where they don't wanna see you get hurt or whatever. So if you're taking big risks or if you're like moving or something like that, they might not agree with it. But at the same time, I would do it, it's your life. You have this dog, it says protection from a powerful friend. 
So it's kind of interesting. Everybody has had like one of the dog cards. There's like, I don't know, maybe like six or seven of them in this deck. And they all kind of represent very similar things like protection. So I feel like you are protected from risk at this time as well. And finally, you have this bell card. It says announcement. There could be good news coming in for you as well, Aquarius, at this time. And there's clearly, you know, I think there's a lot of important communication coming in for you because of the Eight of Wands as well. But uh, Aquarius this is one heck of a reading. Uh, we're going to pull three cards uh, and I'm going to answer one question. If you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm going to put all three cards together as just a kind of personalish reading. But these are the three cards. If you need time to think of your question, feel free to pause the reading right now because I'm going to read the cards right now. You have the Page of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like something wasn't explored. <laughs> this is basically the reading. You know, it's funny because Six of Pentacles like breadcrumbing. I'm wondering if you were either in a relationship or, and this could be like a relationship with a business, um, a career as well. It doesn't even have to be a person, but it's like Six of Pentacles is breadcrumbing. Could be you, could be the other person. Take how it resonates. And the Two of Swords really tells me that something didn't get over here. You see the new island behind her. She chose to stay where she has always been. So again, for some of you, I'm wondering if you made the mistake of staying in a comfort zone. And again, not a criticism at all. This is part of life. We all have to do these things, right? So it's like, I kind of get the feeling that a full investment wasn't made, whether it was you or a person or a business or a situation, doesn't matter. And I feel like it was a dream. Page of Cups, he has this fish in the cup there. And that fish kind of represents maybe something that doesn't exist. Maybe it's a dream. Maybe it's a fantasy. Uh, but he needs to grab onto the fish. He needs to make it happen. So I feel for some of you that, uh, funny enough, I kind of do feel that this is actually kind of like a second chance. I'm not necessarily saying you're getting a second chance with a person. Uh, definitely in work or business. But for some of you, it, like if it is love, I feel like you're getting a second chance to kind of like explore the depths of deep love with the Two of Swords. You're getting the chance to go to that island behind you um, and see what happens. Again, I feel like you're getting the chance to make the full investment of time, effort, or energy. And again, if it was another person, someone's getting the chance to do that with you, obviously. Um, but I like that. I'm also getting something, um, you know, again, for most of you, I feel this is saying, yes, go through the transformation, taking some sort of risk. Uh, but really interesting reading here. Pretty heavy, too, in a good way. Like, I feel like you're clearly leaving caterpillar soup, like I said, and going towards that butterfly. But uh, pretty intense. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.